So that leads into a question I wanted to ask you, and I think I didn't even realize when we were putting these together that this ties so well into the family brand also and just kind of puts these two together. But, all right, if a family disagrees on what the best care is for mom and dad, what should they do? You, me? Go ahead. I'll jump on that for a second. So that that is every situation. If there's more than one child involved, we are playing counselor and we're playing referee more so than actually helping them find the right senior living option um, because it's it never fails. The one that hasn't been helping as much now feels guilty and wants to have the biggest input of what's going to happen with mom and dad. So when that situation happens, we, yeah, it's all the time. We try to sit down. If we can sit around a table, obviously with COVID, that's kind of changed a lot. So a lot of Zoom calls or, or meetings like this, but we try to get all parties sit down at, at one spot. And then we try to play mediator where let's talk first and foremost about what mom and dad's needs are and their budget and then location between the siblings that might visit. And so we got to narrow down the three basics at that point in time. And then we've got to talk with each child as far as, okay, you're saying you want that. Is that more for you or is that more for mom and dad? Or are you just trying to get at your sister for what's been going on the last 20 years? So literally we sit down and we play counselor with almost every family that we deal with. You know, when people apply for jobs with us, it, it's, it's a full gamut of, of what I say your job description is because you just never know what you're going to see. Yeah. Well, in plug for professional advisors, whether it be estate planning attorneys, whether it be uh, people like yourselves, CPAs, somebody like us, that when there are those conflicts, you can really be an unbiased mediator because there's yeah. less emotion, there, right? You're, I mean, you, you don't have the baggage that there, we're all going to bring in. And again, and I keep holding this article up, but it doesn't come through with the virtual background. That's why you have your family brand so that the, the siblings don't have to fight, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. But they'll still That's fight. Don't worry about that. So I, and I always like talking about my kids, so I'll talk about it for a second. But every day when my son gets on the bus at 6.50, the first thing my daughter does now and go, is go and play with his Legos. And she goes, because Luke's not here, I'm going to play with his Legos. So that just shows how siblings are going to always be siblings.